Hi there. In this session, we are going to start with boundary value problems in MATLAB. We'll learn how to solve boundary value problems with MATLAB, and they are very similar to initial value problems. However, we have some boundary conditions in boundary value problems, and we must define those conditions as functions beside the function which represents the model and differential equation and we'll see how to work with these kind of problems using MATLAB. Okay, let's start with a simple example of a boundary value problem. For example, let's assume that we have this differential equation, the second derivative of y plus y itself equals to zero. Given that, we are asked to find a function which has the value of, for example, one in the beginning, of our timestamp and at the other hand we must for example meet this condition for example for pi divided by 2 we must have this value for example and we are going to solve this problem this boundary value problem and we'll use these functions b v p 4 c this is the first order method for dealing with boundary value problems and BVP 5C. These two methods are capable of dealing with boundary value problems in MATLAB. Okay, let's define the uh, model here, clear some outputs and stuff. Let's do some clearing stuff here and close all open figures. And let's define the model as function f which represents the model as a function of x and y this time we use x to denote the value of independent variable you can use t if you want now we use x instead of t this will return the value of the derivative of y with respect to x okay we know that for this model, if we want to represent this, we must define y1 as y and y2 as y prime. And then y1 prime is y2 and y2 prime, which equals to y second derivative, is minus y1. You can convert this second order differential equation to two equations of first order. This is a system of two first order differential equations. Okay, let's define this. The second element of y and in the next line minus the negated version of the first element. Okay, now we must define these values. The general form of these values are as c of y equal to zero. Okay, we must convert these conditions into that form. So y at the first timestamp or at the beginning of our span is minus one equals to zero, and y at the end of that span equals to zero so we just need to define the left hand side of this and we know that this is the first y we have because the value of original y is stored in the variable named as y1 so at the beginning of the time span or variable span we have the first element of y and at the end we have the first element too. However, here we subtract a unit from this value. So if we'd like to define this, we must do in this form. We define a boundary condition and we get yA, the vector of states at the beginning of time span or variable span. And at the end, we have this. And for the beginning of time span, we have y a, the first element minus y as our condition, which must be equal to zero. And for the end of that, we have the first element of the state vector 
itself equal to zero okay this is the boundary condition which defines these boundary conditions and now let's see the documentation of pvp4c and we must provide the od function which is defined the boundary condition function which is defined and we must prepare a solution an initial solution for this pvp problem and that can be done using another function which is called pvp init pvp init accepts the mesh of independent variable it can be some variable of time some variable related to space other things and we must provide some initial values for uh, the output in those mesh those points of mesh this can be a vector value or it can be a function okay let's define this as a simple value and firstly let's define x mesh as lane space of from zero to for example pi divided by two and 100 points will be enough i think and the initial solution the soul in it is pvp in it of this mesh having these values for example one and zero and now we can call the pvp4c or pvp5c and we can get the solution of this problem pvp4c of f bc and soul in it let's save this program and run it and we'll get this solution as this which contains a field for independent variable and a field for dependent variable and a field for y prime too and we can now plot x and y as this figure plot soul dot x the independent variable and soul dot y and let's run it and we get this solution we have the initial value of one this is the first state variable and that's the original y we have and this is one and at the end of this span we have the value zero if we change for example this value to two we'll get this you see that this will get us a this will give us a new solution which meets the boundary conditions the new boundary conditions okay however for example let's copy this if we have another problem which is in the form of this for example y uh, second minus 2y prime and plus 2y equal to 0 and we have these conditions y at 0 equals to 1 and y prime at 2 equals to minus 1 this time we define the boundary conditions one of them on y and one of them on y prime the derivative of function let's convert this to a system of differential equations let's define y1 as y and y2 as y prime so we have y1 prime as y2 and y2 prime as y second which can be expressed as 2y1 minus 2y2 and that's it we have the model here and let's define and solve this model okay let's define this the first one is always the same if y1 prime equals to y2 and 2y1 minus 2 we can factor 2 here and write it as this and about initial conditions this is one so the first element of y the state vector is equal to one and the second element because of prime the second element of state vector at timestamp two equals to minus one so the second element plus one equals to zero and let's save this and 
X mesh is from 0 to 200 points will be enough. And that's it. We can run the program to get the result. Okay, you see the initial value of Y is 1, and the final value of Y prime is minus 1. And that's it. We have the initial value problem solved. And if you like, you can plot the y and y prime in a single plot and we can use this so let's see the shape of this we have two columns two rows so we provide two rows and plot these and we have this this is the trajectory of the system which starts with this is the starting point starts with a value of one for the first state variable and it will reach the value of minus one for the second variable that's it we solved the bvp problem using bvp4c you may replace this with bvp5c and that's almost equal to that but the accuracy of bvp4c is more than bvp5c because of the higher order of the algorithm okay that's it we solved the boundary value problem using matlab